Alright, welcome to the latest episode of Concerts to Consoles with me, Every Show Joe. Let's bring this down a little so we can actually talk without <laughs> something over our faces. I'm here with Brandon from American Standards. Cheers. We're here to play some Goldeneye if you can hear it a little bit over on the stream. Uh, making sure everyone's on the screen too. <laughs> Got that and sound bed there of the, uh, the beautiful Goldeneye 64 <laughs> theme scene. Let's music. bring that in too. Let's move us smaller and there's that. Of course, I gotta do something else. What is it? If you like what you see and you want to support, patreon.com forward slash every show Joe. Uh, which reminds me, I need to shout out to Allison Bills and Rochelle oh, for Allison. contributing five bucks and helping me out. Yes, Allison. Nice. <laughs> that's five bucks that she was going to invest into Taco Bell Cantina and now she can't, so that's saying a lot. She does say you're one of the biggest uh, internet trolls. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> I'm a huge supporter of Allison, other than her ongoing quest to ruin my life by taking away those um, scooters, the birds oh, and the lions. Yes. <laughs> she has such a vendetta against those scooters. And we're gonna switch this over so I can see the chat. I think we'll have some people watching live. Uh, pick your character here. I don't really have a preference. Jaws looks nice and square faced. Other than everyone always says it was Valentine. cheating if you chose Odd Job. Yeah, Odd Job and Valentine because both of them are. Pretty short. It's your competitive advantage. He never dies in any movie. <laughs> also, you know, <laughs> are, are you pretty up on the uh, James Bond uh, stuff? The, the history of the movies and oh. all that. I can't say I like. I've seen a few of them, but I can't say that I know too much. I know more about Goldeneye 007 for 64 than I know about James Bond. I just say I ha at this point there's been enough space between them that I probably. Don't remember as much. You used to watch a bunch of them. Yeah. And what is it? They want they're saying Iris Elba, or people want Iris Elba as the next Bond. Oh, is that what it was? So I, yeah, we were some uh, somewhere the other day where everybody was kind of making a big deal about some new James Bond news, which is kind of random in my. Opinion. All right, we're gonna find out. Okay, I'm remembering. I feel like controls are coming back. <laughs> How to open buttons? So uh. When's the last time you played this game? Outside of when you're setting it up. <laughs> Years. Really? I'm trying to think. Wait. Oh, Emma. Uh, yeah. I used to have. Uh, <laughs> wrong button, too. <laughs> gonna karate chop it. It's always great when you have to go to the uh, slappers. So. I mean, obviously you're huge in the gaming. Your whole house is full of gaming stuff. <laughs> so, and you work at the video game store. So what's your favorite game? It's a game? time. Favorite game? I always go with my first game, because I'm already indecisive enough. <laughs> yeah. So I always go with Super Mario Brothers. Fair. You know, I just got this... Um, right before Christmas, I keep getting all these sponsor posts for this. It's called... Um, oh, shit. Am I already... Uh, crap. So sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Karate shop. Wait, what is... You're never is there a way to crouch? There's a way to crouch. There's a way to just, uh, see down. You're never gonna invite me to your house after I crouch it. <laughs> I have a story of people who used to come over and play, who at a certain point got frustrated enough with me that they would hit me every time. Like, they'd punch me in the arm <laughs> every time I killed them. <laughs> uh, so, um, so yeah, this, I got this uh, game recently called uh, Retro Advance. It's been, you know, sponsored posts nonstop on everything I go to because the second you spend more than a second looking at it, they they throw it on your Instagram and your Twitter feed. And so I finally buy this Retro Advance. It's 150 games on what's said to be a full size Game Boy, like an old school Game Boy, right? But they it's like a modular. Wait, is that the Jaw Rule? Um, no, it does. It's <laughs> a lot like the Jaw Rule thing. So I buy it right before Christmas. It's like 40, 40 or 50 bucks, but then you get a second one for 20 bucks. So I, uh, I sprung for the second one for my brother, he's my good brother, even though I grew up with him kicking my ass nonstop. But um, I completely forgot that I even bought it, to be honest, because it took two months to get to me because it was coming from, it said on the website it was coming from uh, LA, it actually came from China. And I get it, and kind of tie this into Mario here, um, it's got Mario 1, 2, and 3 on it, but it also has Mario 13. Which, yeah, if you don't know much about Mario 13, that's when Mario was actually a ninja. And he uh, has a sword and uh, has, uh, you know, they made ninja, ninja stars. Game. 
Yeah, no, it's, it's just, they're all like, it's got maybe a dozen real games on it. Then it's got like 120 just completely fake games. It's got a Kirby game that's literally just the um, Tom and Jerry game, but with Kirby on it. <laughs> like they just, they take random characters and put them on other platforms. Oh, I'm out of ammo. All right. Oh wait, I do this. Okay. Die first. <laughs> Try to use... Wait. Oh, oh that's funny. Ah. <laughs> yeah, so this uh, Retro Advance, it's cheap. It's If you if you just go into it thinking you're going to get Mario 1 through 3, go for it. But uh, there's a lot of really shitty games that are actually kind of funny on there. It's got this game called Super Chinese. It's kind of random. It's got, um, what else? It's got uh, Kung Fu Panda. Which all the so games... modern. <laughs> no, no, it's literally, they just took, like, popular things that are popular right now, took these platformer games, and then put actual, like, cartoon characters and stuff on them. So they're not, none of them are licensed games. Other than the Mario games and a few other ones. The modding scene... Oh, gosh. There's a few weird ones out there that involve Mario. Like, that'd be a funny game with it, because it also plugs into the TV. It'd be a funny uh, stream in itself just to go through these 160 games. Mm-hmm. I didn't even check. Are we, did I put this first at five or are we playing like a time? I don't know. I put it on like one hour or something. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is a There's pretty like small no level anywhere. Too. <laughs> I'm like, drawing. where's armor? We'll, we'll go to five, five and see if it cuts off there and then, well. They'd pick another level. Good I news is both these controllers work still. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, and seem responsive. I'm impressed. Like I said, my analogs are ground into dust. Other than my game frustration controller there that I showed you, <laughs> which is like the coolest color one too. Like I said, it's level so small. Silence for you. Oh, what's your uh, favorite system? Is it Nintendo then? Super Nintendo? Okay. I was, uh, I grew up fairly poor, and, uh, we had well into, well into the 2000s, my brother, my brother's 10 years older than I, oh, of course, uh, <laughs> we had a regular Nintendo, just an NES, right? Like, yes. till, till probably like 2001, we had an NES, like way past oh, wow. when this is that popular. That is a while. And somehow, my brother now, I mean, I can assume why but somehow my brother came upon multiple NES's we had like four or five NES's at one point and I'm so sorry Jim sorry. <laughs> over 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 um, uh, and we ended up eight. selling all these NES's and bought them into the 64 and until I it moved out of the house all I had was a 64 and this is until 2008 or so so uh, well after like PlayStation 2 maybe oh three. crap you look over Man, that is... I mean, I technically did have to get rid of my Super Nintendo yeah. from my N64, but that was yeah. in 96. <laughs> yeah, so you never had a Super, never had a PlayStation, never had any other console. I, I mean, go to the friends' houses that had it, but and we were way behind the times. And like I was telling you before we started here, about five years ago, I started purchasing all the old uh, systems again and went back and just spent hundreds of dollars repurchasing my childhood. That sounds about right. Because some of the games, you know, like, especially if you're buying, like, Zelda or you're buying, like, um, and if you any games that are decent, like, if you grab them at Zia, they still know they're worth money, so you still, yes. still spend a oh, decent amount. A lot of my collection was built when I was 16, when I, had a, when I started to get a job and found eBay at the beginning of its life. You're lucky you held on to them. I don't keep killing you in the same spot, quit going here, man. <laughs> there was ammo. Oh. Um, my first game for 64 to, well, obviously Mario. Uh, <laughs> I got a Mario and Star Fox. <laughs> and then my dad for Christmas bought me Quest 64 because he hates me. And, no, it was the uh, only RPG available on the N64. <laughs> and it may be a good time. game, but I remember <laughs> like thinking when I got Quest 64, I'm like, this game is the worst game ever. <laughs> I haven't yeah. gone back and played it, so maybe it's halfway decent, but it was really bad at the time. It was... Have you played it, like, yes. as an adult? Oh, I haven't played it as an adult. Yeah. Of all the games I own, I've not repurchased that one. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it. 
recently purchased a Pokemon Snap. Still holds up. <laughs> I I still have that, and I have. It's, uh, I have a story. I don't know if I want to say on video yeah. <laughs> involving a lady friend in oh. that game. <laughs> and, uh, concerts to concerts <laughs> you picked up some babes playing uh, Pokemon Snap because you really knew how to pick, take that picture of Pikachu on the surfboard. No, no. Okay, we'll do one more and then we'll check in our level. <laughs> no. This just, maybe no. this isn't your level, Jill. That's what it is. We'll say it's the level. Yeah. You haven't rage quit yet, so that's good. <laughs> I, I've learned to deal with it more. Honestly, if we would play any like new system, like if we were playing, what are Fortnite right now? I wouldn't stand a chance you'd have to destroy I can't. Destroyed. I actually barely touched Fortnite. Yeah. I, that's just the first game that came to mind for like a new game. <laughs> or any this of those... This is where um, my death is. <laughs> what's those uh, war games? Something... I don't know. If we were to play any popular game right now. Popular game right now, you'd definitely be destroying me. Oh, you did put a timer. I got one minute. <laughs> oh, cool. I think he's... Uh, nine to one, you have a chance. <laughs> Like the suns do. I could just stand still right now. <laughs> <laughs> Put my hands up. But I want to get that 10th kill in. I gotta like, get that 10th kill. Why am I not? <laughs> All I do is look down if I press him down. Whoa, explosive. I refuse not to get this 10th kill. <laughs> oh, you might get a kill before. Uh, ah, two. I got two! <laughs> I'm like mad at the second the, kill. The Clob, you know what? That's that's named after a former Nintendo employee. Really? Yeah. So it's not a real gun? No. And you obviously don't know anything about guns. No, he he was the, the liaison for Nintendo of America to Rare. So you're saying that uh, when gangsters at school used to like, you know, say stuff to me and I was like, don't make me grab my Clob, they knew not. I was bullshitting. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, they may not have, depending what age. <laughs> um, all right, what's your level of choice? Man, I haven't. I do... Hmm, facility. I had morning right now. It's, it's kind of my level. So you, you, I have forgotten. Yeah. I used to have all of these hidden spots memorized. Here, let's do like a first of five. <laughs> that works. Yeah. Um, you're not gonna get killed with this one, Joe. I'm just <laughs> telling you now, right now. So, funny enough. So my original Super Nintendo actually is my sister's, the one I have now. Yeah. Bought off. Older or younger? Sister. Younger. Bought off her when she was getting rid of it, like around the end of high school. Yeah. So I still have that. This is my launch N64 we're playing on. This, that door's not. Wait, that door will open when I'm hitting the button. But I was kind of forced onto new systems when my parents divorced. Okay. I didn't even know my mom had kept my Nintendo, but my dad bought me a Sega Genesis. You, do we have? <laughs> you know, my... Oh gosh, proximity minds. So my parents are divorced too. They got divorced when I was in like sixth grade. And I'm going to tie this back into Nintendo. I couldn't back. Um, I backed into the corner of the door. I was like, I'm why am I not up. moving anymore? Getting real serious here real quick, but uh, so when my parents divorced, it was sixth grade, and I was playing Nintendo when my uh, my mom came into the room and said, do you want to live with you know me, or do you want to live with your dad? And I remember playing Nintendo at the time, and I was super focused, so I was just like, whatever. Like, did not even <laughs> hit me at all at the time, you know? And they had been together for like over 20 years. <laughs> Damn, I know. Man. Um, yeah, my dad bought me... But it's probably the best thing that could happen, right? I, mean, I don't know if your parents ever argued or anything, but I'm like, ah, it's probably better that they're not together, uh, to be honest, at the time. It's better they're not together. Yeah. We'll, we'll put it at that. <laughs> With knowledge not only learned as a kid, but learned as... Yeah, fair. Well, as an adult. <laughs> are they? Uh, are your parents still alive? Yes. Are they uh, end up remarrying or...? Um... My... <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself and get that suicide counter. <laughs> uh, oh crap, I'm gonna trap myself with this guy over there. And just keep reloading on proximity lines. <laughs> so there are guns. <laughs> Once I. Oh yeah, there's more than just. Yeah. We'll figure that out. <laughs> like, I know where you were. 
<laughs> Told you. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, so I ended up with the Genesis with Sonic 2. That's nice. how I ended up. And then later on, we discovered my mother did have my Nintendo, but then sell it off to a fault an aunt. Yeah, yeah. Be like, okay, well, never mind. <laughs> um, we just got recently, you can buy like the Sonic 1 through, was it Sonic 1 through 9 or something like that? <laughs> All on one council. I guess they have here. There's no nine or whatever it is. Son what, Sonic like, one wait. through <laughs> whatever the the most recent Mania? one is. Um, Sonic Mania is well of the side scrolling Mania. Yeah, the side scrolling ones. And uh, when you were playing... actually no, I'm lying. I'm completely lying. No, it's Mega Man. We just bought Mega Man. Okay, that makes more sense. And, and it has like Mega explosives. Man like one through eight or nine. And uh, and every single Mega Man game is impossible. Like, you can't beat more than two or three levels on a Mega Man. Or maybe you can, but for me, I'm like, but Jesus Christ, it's so hard. I can do better at that than I'm doing at this right now. <laughs> Touch uh, is kind of my game when it comes to uh, multiplayer games. It's Perfect Dark. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we actually we have Perfect Dark, too. It's essentially golden eye, but Gosh, darn it. better graphics. I got in a corner again. <laughs> but I'm out. I'm not dead, at least. You'll be soon. Weapons, and one of those was a former weapon when I died. Oh, I I'm negative one. <laughs> I've only been killed by my own <laughs> explosives. He's doing great. Man, I'm trying to remember to these layouts. Actually, I should get this in my arms. Once it was on the level of people hitting me, because I killed them so frequently, and now I don't. should have practiced beforehand. <laughs> I, that's why I couldn't tell you beforehand that I wanted to play this game, because... Had I practiced? Yeah, then you would have been good. At least. So instead, it, I, I practiced. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Kind of went in underhanded here. This one, I feel, is on the other side. Can't let you get that kill. Oh, crap. Yeah, now you're kind of screwed. <laughs> no, we. Oh, crap. Get used to these old controls. Get you to move around in there a bit. Yeah, shoot them off. Yeah, you oh, can. Gosh. Can I walk into them? Yes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, reloading. Now a modern thing of the game character saying reloading. Shoot off the screen. <laughs> now I should be back at zero. <laughs> uh, but yeah. That's C4 was the first. Oh, there you go. I was almost at five until I killed, <laughs> killed myself, now I'm down to three. Why do I feel like I'm always starting off? Oh, gosh. What is crouch? <laughs> what am I missing? Uh, you have to press R and C down. Oh, that's... Well, I think that's it. That's what I'm missing. I'm Like, when I keep doing it, it's just like... I'm, yeah, it's R and C down at the same time. Gosh. <laughs> so sorry, Joe. <laughs> you invited me here. You let me pick the game. Oh no, that's fine. <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> a bathroom trap. I wish Dipper, which apparently is not his real name if you're watching. Um, There's at least three people. Was here so he can lose at this. <laughs> and, so, uh, yeah, no, I, I had no clue that wasn't his real name, so good thing he told me. Dipper, where does Dipper come from? I was asking the story behind this. I feel like it actually is related to something that I should be aware of. That I well, if you were his boss and you don't know his first name, I'm not surprised you're forgetting this little detail. <laughs> you know, you might win if I just keep committing suicide. You were right there. Yeah. <laughs> I decided to kill myself before you could kill me. <laughs> and his body fades away. Yeah, just like real life. Yes, real life in Chinese video games. <laughs> or is it skeletons? I think it's skeletons, they don't let dead bodies hurt. Strafe. How do I reload? Okay. Here. Ah, <laughs> the pleasure of split screen. It's a little baby gun. I guess it's good that we don't have the other guys out of gun. Yeah. But at least the TV is big enough. I can actually see. Ah, you got lucky, I'm reloading. 
Come on. Oh no! Yes. <laughs> Finally. I lied. You got a kill. <laughs> now you're to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, am I? That got me. Oh, yeah. well, that's right. Cause negative one. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm gonna let that count as you actually getting a kill, cause you're still at zero. <laughs> I can't find. Me. Oh wait, I know where they are. There's, yeah, there's some in the bathroom if you want to go get those. There's some right there to the right if you want to just go through that door. Some right right there. there. <laughs> <laughs> At least now I know there's no locks over there. I'm starting to forget where I put them. You're killing yourself. Yeah. Well, this is what the console shooter that defined console shooters. Right? Yeah. It did the double joystick controls with the C buttons and one joystick. It's one of those things that I feel like I should be better at some of the other more pos uh, more recent like shooter games. Just, sometimes they just give me it. Like I've tried to play Fortnite and some of those other ones, Call of Duty and stuff, and they just uh, make me sick and make me feel like an old man. Really? Yeah. Like the movement? <laughs> like, yeah, they just get my eyes get too confused, things are moving too quick. Honestly, Smash Brothers, though, we just got the recent, the new Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers is a game like that, too, where I'm like, there's just too much going on right now. Like, when you're playing with items. That's on purpose, though. Yeah, there. That's part of it. So it makes me feel like a real old man when I'm like playing that game. I'm trying to either... I'm not trying to do anything. <laughs> I'm about to get that fifth kill right now. <laughs> Alright, we're both dying. <laughs> Auto aim. Whoa. Oh crap. Move. <laughs> body armor did not save him. <laughs> yeah, I put one on the body armor or <laughs> something. It, it made me feel like I was going to last longer. <laughs> You're lucky I committed suicide right there because it just deducted that, uh, that kill. So the thing when you're playing with these mines is like they could, the oh, first of five could last forever to keep killing yourself. <laughs> or at least I, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> trying to get a weapon that isn't proximity mines. <laughs> so, uh... I don't know how I choose when I swear and when I don't swear. <laughs> I'm just realizing I'm like saying, God darn it. Golly gee, Willikers. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's because I'm not religious. I can't say God. Yeah. I'm, sticking to, <laughs> I'm sticking to four right now, apparently. God. But you're still at zero, so you're holding I'm steady. Not... <laughs> at least yeah. you're consistent. <laughs> I mean, at least we've gotten the one kill with my own hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is... So this is the second episode, third episode. Yes. Gotcha. What was the first? It was Chris Fox, Spike McGuire, and John Underwood. Right. They're from Reno. Well, I know Chris is from Reno. I have no more uh, but we'll I now it. have no more ammo. This is how it goes <laughs> out. <laughs> We're going out in a slapper fight. Get back here. Where did he go? Oh. <laughs> I'll slap you in the crotch a bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I figured it out. <laughs> this is very dramatic for an Indian. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Compelling content. Especially since both of us recently got armor, so it's literally gonna take forever oh, to kill each other. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be dropped. Two viewers. They must not wanna watch. <laughs> Fine. Take it back to the. Uh. Oh, maybe I can't. Do I not have a gun? Oh. Yeah. Here. Let's hurry up. Am I short? Oh, I guess you're tall. Yeah. No, right. <laughs> I was like, wait. Very tall. I went the opposite route of my job. Come on. Why can't I? Yeah. But damn. <laughs> he just fell onto his leg after doing the splits. <laughs> uh, we Let's do one more, then then you pick the game. You tell me what you want to kill me at. Fair enough. Or we can try our progress at the single player. True, true. Let's uh, let's go one more round here. Randomize it. Which one had? What do you want to? Yes, that one. Which one had all the walkways? Do I love it? Ch -ch 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 
that, that was the complex. Yeah, right? I think it might be the complex that you're talking about. The bunker's also pretty cool. I don't know if you played a bunker before. It could slow us. A little disorienting, but... I've played it. I just don't remember Eddie. You want to do a complex? Sure. What type of weapon you want to do? <laughs> it's more entertaining than a grenade launcher. <laughs> the grenade launchers then. It's another one you kill yourself real quick, man. There you go. Have it your way. McDonald's or Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's. <laughs> yeah. Did you uh, Wait, keep on the, up on Wendy's, just completely slamming everybody, trolling everyone? Yes. Yeah, and a bunch of like metalcore bands too. That was kind of random. Wendy's knew their stuff about metalcore. And I know there is. I do remember stuff. All right, where is it? Though? I do remember stuff about this level. Uh oh. Also, this joystick isn't completely good. I'm mean, figuring it out. Oh yeah, you say, you say <laughs> that after you've been killed like 40 times. Yeah, sure. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm horrible. You're gonna kill us both. <laughs> <laughs> it's all I have for a weapon. <laughs> we did both go out at the same time. Got it. I think like that happens like you just shot me right in the chest with a grenade and just both of us are gone. Now I do remember some of this level. There, I don't know there's, like, there's that club. It's really changed my perspective on everything now. That, that's oh, you know it's I'm named like. after someone who yeah. worked. And he actually, funny enough, went to Microsoft and then manages the relationship with Rare over there now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> funny enough, he's still working with Rare. Even when they left Nintendo. And I just need to remember the layout. You know, one thing that's kind of tough, too, with this, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm colorblind. It's everything. Really? And I'm not like um, red green colorblind, which is like the most common type. Um, I'm gray, grayscale, which is fairly rare. So like when you're playing some games where you're like, okay, I know there's a certain color light here that indicates like I'm in this area. Um, I don't have that <laughs> that ability. So some yeah, of this stuff. I'm starting to remember some things on this. So it didn't all disappear from my brain. I just haven't used it in a long time. It's very <laughs> useful knowledge. I don't know why you're not testing yourself on this every day, quizzing yourself. On where maps is, of Goldeneye? Yeah, where's the armor on the uh, facility? <laughs> Let's see. There's another. So, uh, my, my, my interviewing of you here. When did when did you turn to every show, Gio? When people nicknamed me. <laughs> oh, this is like okay. not a, like a intentional, like... I'm gonna start. A, like, did it start as photography? Is that what it started it as? Started just... as? It started as me going to shows. Yeah. <laughs> and then the photography came second. Or... Yeah. Okay. Well, the real photography did. Yeah. I do remember things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it basically became. So I. This actually does tie into my GameStop stuff. But it's. Yeah. Where you're at. Yeah, well, that wasn't you, I just saw some dithering. If you uh, saw somebody else, that'd be really weird. Yes, the ghost <laughs> of Odd Joel in this hair. tall. Even when I'm kneeling, I'm tall. <laughs> oh, so much armor. <laughs> Damn it, you got me this time. All right. So, with GameStop, so I used to at least casually go out to a concert or show, but I became a store manager for about four years. However, it became a detriment to my health. <laughs> Doing the store manager. The work hours. Too much the, stress. And it came to my attention, well, all of it. So I stepped down. I needed to find stress relief. <laughs> and they're like, you need to find a place then my doctor at the time was telling me, you need to find a place that's stress-free that you can go to, reduce your stress, lower it. I was like, alright, well, the one thing I remembered, well, two things, was hiking, but the other one was, whenever I went to concerts, I forgot about work. 
You got three kills here. <laughs> Apparently, I just have to play. Them Hopefully, out. no one's tuned in. Hopefully, everybody's tuned out by this time. There's three. <laughs> So you're telling me only two people saw me slaughter you for the last couple <laughs> games, and now three people are watching while you're killing me. You got a fan base, Joe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to see you. Uh, I see crush. you. Yeah, but yeah. one more slap. I can't jump off, can I? No. Duh. And I can't throw like slapper up there. <laughs> I was like, go down there. Ah, uh, help me! I'm killing this ball. Ah, uh, crap. Um, moving. Yep, no. So yeah, I was like, whenever I went out to concerts, I didn't. Feel, I forgot about work. I felt good. So I. That's how that all started. I just set a goal of a show a month. And it turned into like all two of this. Shows yes. Night. It also was because I drink. I would take pictures and I use my Facebook as a tool. Yeah. Be like, all right, I like this band. I'm gonna take a picture with my phone. I'm gonna post it in my timeline, and then that way. Even if I do forget. <laughs> I have no weapon. <laughs> now you know how well, I feel. Except my fists of fury. <laughs> Get up, I've got up. armor. That does some good. <laughs> there usually is. Allison Bill, she's at a lot of shows too. Yes. I see like on her Instagram all the time. It's like sometimes like she'll be at a show that I'm at and then like later that night she posts a picture to an entirely different show. <laughs> like how did you go to so many shows and that's why I, I figured I had competition. Yeah. I figured there were people that did more than me, but apparently people I came mean, not. Did her names don't run Joe though. <laughs> or show. <laughs> I get the question, is that your real name? I'm like, why would it not be my real name? <laughs> it's your stage name. What well, we learned about Dipper today. Well, I, what I learned about Dipper today. Yes. Stage name. But yeah, so then as I went to shows, people became Facebook friends with me and they saw those pictures and were super supportive of them. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll keep doing it. Not just because I was drinking and wanting to remember. Yeah. <laughs> and then also that. getting to know people kept getting invited out and was like, all right, I'll watch your band. I'll watch your band. So it just kind of rolled and rolled. Oh, where did I? Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> So that's how this all started. Nice. And those phone pictures are horrible. I've gone and looked back. <laughs> on your flip phone? <laughs> on your uh, sidekick? On my LG chocolate. <laughs> I think I had a smartphone by the time I started all this. <laughs> I hope I did. <laughs> the LG chocolate. Oh my god, I did have one of those though. <laughs> that's another thing. I didn't, like, I didn't have a cell phone all through uh, high school. I can't imagine if I would have learned one thing if I had a cell phone in high school. Because like now it's so easy to just be like, I don't have to remember that, I'll Google it when I need it. Right? Yeah. You know what's also made conversations kind of funny? Oh, you have the rocket launcher. That's not a very efficient way to kill people on this game. Or two of them, because you kill both of them. So. Oh, reloading. Come on. Yeah. You had armor too. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> but yeah. So how long ago was that? 20... 2011 officially. Okay. Because I stepped down from GameStop January 1st or 2nd of 2011. It's been quite a while. So you've, and then seen, people you've seen a lot of bands break up. <laughs> the, the most crazy one was watching the first version of Contradiction blow up on stage at the first Phoenix Scout on Foley. Okay, yeah. That I still remember because I was just like, I've never seen a band just like self-destruct and like snipe at each other. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Honestly, like the lifespan of bands, like local bands. Is that just that barrier? I can't tell if that actually was hitting me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the lifespan of bands is just like under two years normally so like being a band now for almost nine years there's not too many bands that are still going that are active um that were around when we started in arizona you know i've been kind of reflecting on the well, recently i've been starting to think about it. i'm like wait i've noticed now like three ge generations quote unquote of Band. bands i'm like which is like six years like everyone <laughs> there used to be or there still is like these like groups is that They're always play together, play together. Yeah. But noticing how they've changed, or bands stopped playing, or life 
Yeah. And I started noticing that, but also noticing the social circles slowly change as people either married or move or yeah. whatever. Well, that's it. It's like there's there's some bands that are around when we first started in like 2010, 2011, but lots of those bands don't play very often anymore. Like they don't tour, they don't release very often. They'll play an occasional local show, or they haven't officially said they've broken up, but uh, no gimmick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no gimmick's <laughs> been around since. When I was like in my very first band, like they were around when Angel Fire was the way you promoted your band or Geo Cities, you know. Johnny, do you have an, an Angel Fire site? I for sure had yeah. an Angel Fire site for our band. We had like the slash A Z slash Hardcore slash because <laughs> you have to put all these different slashes. Gosh, Angel Fire. Yeah. That was where I built my first website. Yeah, me too. And then what? Google bought it. I don't know. I, I assume what like once MySpace became. The most popular thing most people left. The need MySpace. to have a... Mine still exists. I mean, most, yeah, yeah, I think uh, mine's still on there too. Definitely. On a lot there. of like either old pictures or no pictures now. Where does this go? I think. Um, I feel like most bands don't even have dot coms anymore. I can't think of the last time. I like some of my favorite bands I've definitely never gone to like every time I die dot com. Like, why am I gonna <laughs> do that? Like, that sounds horrible when you say that out loud, though. Like, no one does that. You know? no one goes, like, <laughs> or it should be like a web flash game. Yeah. Every time I die, I come. It's just a game. You go on there and then you start shooting things. You just see the, like, the, uh, that little clip art of the gun. Oh, shit. Shot that for no reason. Or maybe you're around here, never mind. Totally I am around there. Totally intentional. Because the level is, like, hard to figure out where the hell. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You have rock. Walking Rocket floor. launchers will be my downfall, my choice. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just giving you what you wanted. We're tied. Yeah, what the hell, man. <laughs> when people finally started watching, that's when I started losing them. Yeah, we're up to four now. I'm folding under pressure. This is where I should probably be doing my like random plugs, like mentioning Audible.com, sponsored by. <laughs> I should Square actually space. Look into that. build it right. With Square space. Well, I've been <laughs> I've been thinking about that, that getting the referral links. Yeah. But it's like, if I am listening to all these podcasts and everyone has an Audible, how many people don't have an Audible? Go to fleshlight.com <laughs> slash every show Joe. Do they just, just get a, a Pornhub ad? Yeah. It's so dark <laughs> I can't see anything. Where am I at? Jesus Christ. <laughs> there, this level has a bunch of hidden places. So in addition to being really behind the times on the systems when I was a kid, um, our TV was also probably like 20 years old. So every level was so damn dark. Like, especially <laughs> if you're playing like the temple or the caverns or anything, okay. you couldn't see anything. The temple. Yeah. I remember that being like a thing when I was a kid. I want to unlock it because it's super cool. I don't yeah. know why, but it's super cool. Spooky. Spooky stuff is cool. I can't. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna actually use the uh, Oh god. I'm not even moving forward. <laughs> yeah. Head shot, come on. <laughs> nut shot, nut shot. This. I'm horrible at this. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, that's right, auto. I have to go underneath. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be a close one, damn it. You're doing it, Joe. I had to settle in, or I had to choose the map that I <laughs> No, this is this is good. I need a I need the challenge. I'm not I'm not dishing it back at you, which is making me mad. I could see you. I I saw you saw me. <laughs> <laughs> I see you seeing me. So you gotta you gotta get your plugs here, right? What's your plugs? Plug oh them. yeah. So, you can always subscribe if you're watching live on Twitch, because I think it gives me five bucks, but also if you're an Amazon Prime member, you have a free Twitch Prime subscription that you can give me. So you don't even want to take it out of your pocket. Nice. And it still helps me. Oh, crap. Ah. I'm going to right now. <laughs> Help you die. <laughs> now, I, I should have been doing one-liners like every time I killed you up to this point. <laughs> would have ran out right there. That was the only one I had. It was your... Last breath to yeah. breathe. Would uh, you say this is the bomb.com? <laughs> nah, it doesn't work. Never mind. It's bomb.com. 
It's the bomb. Man. This is there you go. explosive fun. You're near me because I just got pooped. Wait, how did I get hurt from what? I wasn't even near it. Oh god, no. <laughs> I get kind of like antsy and impatient. Like I'll shoot a bomb, then I'm like, oh, that's probably good enough to walk into it. <laughs> <laughs> I could walk into the flame at this level of flame. Through the fire and flames. So there you go. There you go. There's the pun yep. you can make. I am so horrible at um, Guitar Hero. It's like ridiculous horrible. Like there's songs I could play on guitar that I can't play on Guitar Hero. So I mean I'm being colorblind, but that has no, makes no sense. I've learned a little guitar. Thanks. I saw to... your guitar right over here. I just assumed you played. No. Really. So it's like you're like one of those guys that got like this all these like really cool reading books on your desk <laughs> just so people could be like, oh, so you're reading The Grapes of Wrath? So <laughs> actually, Andy, who's going to be on next week from Nito, and he was in 0.9% when I was in high school. If I can ride. Uh, he taught me basic chords and uh, what was it? Four power chords from, was it Offspring Self Esteem? Okay. <laughs> we'll both kill each other. <laughs> I'm. No. I was like, I'm alive! You might no, have just won. Did you just get five? You did it! No, you did. That was yours. Oh! <laughs> that was yours. Ha! Life. In your face! <laughs> I was about to shake your hand and be like, the better sport, but now that I won, screw that noise. It's gotcha! <laughs> no, that's my player. I'm second player. <laughs> 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 What are you talking about? Yeah. What yes. else you got? What else you want to play here? Video game wise, or yeah. I mean, we keep playing this, but I'm, I'm just saying, if you if you're just tired of losing, Joe, you I'm getting play. better. <laughs> we saw this. You are, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll play some bunker. We'll play some. And we'll, we'll let the we'll let fate. De wait, can you let wait, can you let fate decide on the weapon? Is there a random? Well, because it's it automatic, so just kind of throw all automatic ends. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Let's just go throwing that. <laughs> Very anticlimactic. <laughs> uh, a four hour game. <laughs> First at five. Oh gosh, I remember this. I can't even remember. This one doesn't have as many uh, hidden places. Yet. No, not as many hidden places, but it's got this whole area that's kind of disorienting like it's uh, it's like playing the game descent I don't think I played descent actually what's that for? originally PC it's you now on like good old games so. oh I found something really more of a lemmings guy on PC <laughs> <laughs> but it was like the first game I ever played that was like Orange. 360 degrees and then you're in these caves so you kind of <laughs> More of a uh, Oregon Trail guy myself. <laughs> the Apple II. <laughs> All that, that typhoid always gives me malaria. What was it, Alex? Was that the dude, the programmer dude in this movie? In this movie? I don't know. Or was it the honest. chick? <laughs> <laughs> You're the video game guy here. I, obviously, I'm not a video game guy. I picked a game from 20 years ago. <laughs> I know, that's the point. <laughs> I want to dig deeper, and now I at least have the capture ability to do most of it. Yeah, so so the point of this series here, you, are you giving, because you gave some fun facts. Are you trying to, like, give some history of these games while you're playing them or something? Ah, crap, I love Or are you just trying to lose relentlessly? <laughs> uh, history and also talk about the bands. <laughs> Theoretically, not, <laughs> we haven't talked about American Standards Your goal all. isn't to get uh, sponsored by people that make GoldenEye, um, so they can really boost their sales 20 years later? <laughs> oh, that's a whole other story of licensing issues, anyways. Uh, is that a, a thing? Well, with Twitch, I mean, everybody does it on Twitch, right? Well, yeah, they, well, you can stream the original. No, I mean, any possibility of it being re-released. Ah, uh, catch gotcha. it. Did they, they re-release, -re like, um, do they call it remastered? I don't know. Remastered is when it's, like, nicer. Yeah, yeah. They go through I mean, that's what they do for songs, obviously, but I didn't know if that was the same for games. But didn't they re-release a remastered GoldenEye recently? Yeah. Are you sure? So the only thing that's been made was when EA had the license, yeah. they made a new GoldenEye slash sequel. Oh. And yeah. like the first level, or was it, it was an alleged remake, but it wasn't the same. 
Yeah, I could have swore they had like a something similar on there, but no. like it even did the pan camera pan through the opening area uh, to like reminisce. The good old days. It didn't feel the. These same aren't gonna be good old days when I'm done with you. You're not gonna want to <laughs> reminisce, Goldeneye. You're gonna have scars. <laughs> <laughs> the worst shit talker. <laughs> The other thing you would figure out, or I figured out as an adult, was the amount of stock audio that is in these video games, and this one specifically. They just do for like the alarm sounds and stuff. They're just like stock. Yeah. <laughs> Cost too much money to get three different alarms. But yeah, so the licensing is. So the developers now owned by Microsoft. Gotcha. I think Nintendo owns the code to this game. Gotta go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> I can't even aim. I'm like zipping around, that's why I'm too stealth, man. And then you still have to get the bond license on top. It's a kill. <laughs> you got me Perfectly before I even killed you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's three alleged reasons why this has never been re released. Where's the, uh, the petition or petition.org for that? Oh, people want it. <laughs> it's been the question of people working together. Well, if anybody's going to make it happen, it's going to be this episode. Yes, this is going to motivate every <laughs> run rare Microsoft Nintendo to finally come together. Yeah. Well, the other problem is they have their own consoles, so who do you release it on? True, true. Nintendo wants it on there, well, it's not Switch. The Xbox. Gotta go. Ah, oh, what happened? I'm looking at the ceiling. <laughs> oh, and I'm not running fast enough. <laughs> oh, come on. It's close. Damn it. <laughs> You're so close. I'm also so good. I forgot where the armor set in this level. <laughs> yeah, part of the motivation it was, oh, I'm outside. What the hell? Um, I also just felt out where I'm at. Yeah, thanks for telling me. Oh my gosh, I haven't been... Look at that, draw distance. Oh wait, that's just the end of the little level. <laughs> <laughs> I have no weapon and you're out here with me. Find it. Because <laughs> you guard the door. <laughs> uh, I can't even jump off things. Oh, this is so... <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just gonna jump off and back into the door. Look at these flowing hills. They're all <laughs> angular. And... Uh, Have you seen that meme with that dude that has like a really squared face? They say it looks like a soldier Oh, that's funny. Yo. I'm, I'm, never, literally I'm like, not gonna survive this, but still, we're gonna. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta win. I was gonna say, like, like, <laughs> one time and I would have been gone and got me. That's true, your health didn't regenerate. Yeah, I didn't get that. Uh... Now can I get a weapon? <laughs> no! <laughs> Play with slappers. Uh... <laughs> but yeah, I was also I was looking for an avenue to talk video games. Outside of annoying Facebook friends with long-winded posts about video games. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Help me on the floor. There we go. Where do you... Damn it. <laughs> No. Ah! Wrong way! Um, oh, wait, there's a radar. I probably should turn that off. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But you're also... Or... <laughs> you didn't hear the body armor. We just happen to be playing on the same screen. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, honestly, I bet you if Mitch... It's a bummer Mitch couldn't come because Mitch knows all that stuff about the game. Too. We can do a part two. Yeah. Follow. Full band. I know Nintendo 64 games and NES games. That's pretty much all. We could have I mean, played, played some Gyromite. <laughs> great I actually game. don't have a ROM. <laughs> it's a fun game to play some Ice Climbers. We can do that. I have abilities to do this. <laughs> what is it? Balloon jumper or whatever? Balloon, balloon fight. Balloon fight? Yeah. How can I not find any automatic weapon? <laughs> yeah, maybe 
guess you just got you. Oh, there we go. I actually had one. I didn't realize it. That makes that even worse. But anyways. <laughs> Now you're going on tour soon. That was part of our. We are. We're going. Um, my learning of scheduling bands. <laughs> well, obviously this is a great example of scheduling bands. I told my guys last week we're going to do this, and uh, none of them responded to me until like yesterday. And then today they're like, "Yeah, we can't do it." <laughs> and Thanks you're going to be on the road here. Yep, we're going on. We're leaving on Thursday. We're playing Albuquerque at a. Uh, a venue called Red Velvet Underground, which um, I looked it up online. And it seems to be a horror-themed um, bar. That sounds awesome. It looked actually. pretty cool, yeah. And it, uh, but it's an all-ages show, so that kind of threw me off. And um, it's all ages, but it looks to be a bar, and it's a free show, so that should be kind of cool. Um, then we're going up to, and we played Albuquerque a lot. Actually, this guy Mike Steezy is booking us there. He's been booking us for probably the last five years. And then we're going to Denver, Colorado, and we're playing Seven Circle Music Collective, which is one of the coolest I DIY. Say that one I know the name of. I've yeah. never been. It's one of the coolest DIY punk venues that we play. Um, our Danger Music Number no. Nine video is actually from oh, there. Man. Yeah, from filmed there. They filmed it on a uh, like old school VHS uh, big old camcorder. Really? And um, there we go. Yeah, so we're playing there, and it's kind of cool because it's super DIY. It's like bring your own beer. Um, it's in this shed that holds maybe <laughs> 200 people, and people just get nuts there. And last time we played there, they had like a rapper, they had like a, a beat down hardcore band, and then they had a super punk rock band, and then us. So it's like all kinds of stuff, but everybody was going nuts the whole time. That sounds awesome. And so, I have some friends in Denver. Nice. Let so them know, man. It might That's actually be Saturday. there in April, I think. Denver's a, a beautiful city. Last time we were there too, we also uh, we rented those bikes. So like the you know you get the bikes and you go. oh and just ride around. It's essentially the lime scooters that Allison hates, except for the <laughs> bikes. So if she boycotts those too, she could just take away the rest of my happiness. <laughs> um, but we had a cute little band date. Like you know, four of us were just riding bikes down in downtown Denver. I mean, where are they not banned right now? Or they're not pulling out? Yeah, are they being pulled out everywhere? They're pulling out of Tempe because of. Uh, was it fines or money stuff that the council voted in? Gotcha. They they just um, took them out of St. Louis too. I was in St. Louis not too long ago, and they just took them out of St. Louis because people were taking them, like picking them up without renting them, and just yeah. throwing them into lakes. <laughs> so I thought people were doing that here already. Yeah, I mean they may be. I I I, I think they're fun. I think they're a very fun thing to do, but I understand that people are super irresponsible. Because they're everywhere. As with everything else, they're really irresponsible. I have a neighbor here that I keep just seeing it hanging out around. I'm like, huh, are they, do they just not pick them up? Or like, or does this person just keep renting them and yeah. leaving them right here? Maybe that's what, <laughs> how he gets to work. Just ride them back home. You know, last time we rode them, we were like going bar hopping or whatever, and um, we left them at by, by this home bar, and we walked outside, and there's these kids. And we found out that they're charging them, and apparently they get, what are five, ten bucks to charge them. So, like, these kids are probably, like, I don't know, 17, 18, I don't know, maybe a little bit older. I can't judge the, their age, but they're younger than we were. And they were just going around from place to place, making money just charging them up, you know? On, really? They're on the scooters themselves, riding three kids riding scooters to other scooters to charge the scooters. <laughs> and, yeah, they are saying they make, like, That's five bucks a pop. Yeah. Entrepreneurs. And Allison wants to put them out of business, so they'll probably starve to death. <laughs> Not saying you're an evil person, Allison, but um, think about that when you sleep at night. Are you guys doing any new music this year? Your last album was um, great. Thanks, man. Yeah, so uh, well, back to run up the tour after Denver, which is next Saturday, on the 23rd. Then we play Salt Lake City at. Um, oh, there you are. Um, <laughs> we play Salt Lake City at the Loading uh, Dock, which we've played quite a few times. Uh, Jordan Clements is actually booking that oh, show. That was, that was, He's a great guy too. That was fun streaking. Oh, I ran out of that. Damn. And then, um, and then we go down to Vegas and we play Vegas with um, Steak Sauce Mustache, which is the last band that we toured with. And those guys are absolutely nuts. We're playing the dive bar there. So that's kind of what the room looks like. But yeah, we are so... We, we went from Anti-Melody, which was a full length, to um, 
just doing like a bunch of singles. Um, so the last, uh, we did Weep, which we did with Hiram here in Arizona at uh, Earth Says. Well, and that's kind of been the debate, right? Whether it's better to do like either EPs or just singles and yeah. keep your people's attention more over a longer period with less stuff. Yeah. And just drop 12, 10 songs on them every I mean, like six or more months. Yeah, no, it, it definitely is. And I think um, it's, it's hard to say. Like, I still find value in the full length for sure. And for us, it wasn't necessarily just trying to capitalize on like streaming and playlists and stuff. Although it does help to, like you said, keep in people's, uh, you know, mind, top of mind by releasing more the often. millennial age. Yeah. <laughs> but um, for us, it was more about, like, oh, if I beat you with that fluid, no power is great. I also have to reload. <laughs> there yeah. we go. Um, for us, it's really about anti-melody. Um, we recorded at a great studio. We spent more money than we've ever spent at a studio out of California. In it. But that's the, definitely true. But um, the sound, well, it's kind of funny. Like The sound isn't like what I wanted out of it, really. Although more we, like recording sound or engineering sound? I think for the um, mix more from the mix. Yeah, the mix and everything uh, wasn't what we wanted. Wait, I have to reload. Oh, God, darkness. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I gotta run. Get that clock. This is where I should be paying attention to my radar. Yeah. <laughs> So we um so doing singles was less of a, a thing about like just trying to put out stuff more often. It was more about like let's experiment with a few new studios that we've never worked with to find out who really understands our sound before we spend a lot of time and money on another full length, you know? Um, so we did one with Hiram, which was Weep, and then we just two weeks ago released Phantom Limb, uh, which Mitch That's it, right, I saw that. Yeah, all Mitch, I can think of is Venture Brothers. <laughs> yeah. You say Phantom a lot of people have said <laughs> or apparently Guar put out a Phantom Limb song. Um, when Brocky died. Oh, come on, I ran. I had to reload. Oh, uh, <laughs> reload is your enemy. Yeah. So, so that one, we actually, Mitch engineered it, and then we sent it to uh, Kevin from Dylan Drake's State Plan. He's got a studio called uh, Backroom Studios in New Jersey. Yeah. And he mixed and mastered it for us. And obviously, like, not that we're super Dillinger style at all. I mean, they're a million times more technical than us. But uh, he understands the sound, and he really crushed that mix. Like, it sounds so damn good. Um, so doing that, doing it that way, was cheaper than we'd ever uh, done a song, um, and it allowed us the flexibility of since we we're engineering at Mitch's house, we were allowed to go back and like, we were allowed to go back to his house anytime we wanted and change stuff and add stuff, and it was just like a really cool way to do it. And then once we <laughs> sent it out to him, we got a really good mix out of it. That's right. I forgot he does all that because I went over there for a reason unknown: gang vocals. Yeah, he does a lot of things. Yeah, funny stories. Because he's also, what, Muvalia? Yeah. The camera that I have is from his old band. They really? shot their music video on Lake Havasu with it. Oh, I've seen that video. That was shot with the camera that I use at concerts. Yeah. <laughs> we, I remember that video because, so Mitch doesn't really drink or anything. Um, and his band, like Muvalia, they're all pretty big partiers, partiers from what I've been on the At least they used to be. They've kind of all like settled down. I think they're all like dads with kids now, Yeah. Right? Yeah, so in that video they're all like partying hard and stuff then Mitch is just kind of chilling you know well he had a drum yeah <laughs> lame actually what was funnier was that someone else that I knew on my Facebook feed was like then there's this band over there and they're like edit it's Muvalia and I'm like I know those guys yeah <laughs> and you just happened to be on the same lake at the same time random <laughs> as they were filming yeah they're still I mean there's st the they're a good example of like what we are talking about at the beginning. They're still a band that's considered an active band, but they haven't played a show in a couple of years. It's just life yeah. has kept them busy. Like, the money that I bought the camera off them for was supposed to be invested in new music. So I was like, that's cool. And that was like, what, how long ago? May of 2017? <laughs> April. It might have been April of 2017. That looks like a... It's not... At least not in here. But yeah, Muvali have been around for quite a while. And they're so fun to watch when they do play. I don't think... Um, so Mitch definitely hasn't played a show with them since he's been in our band in a few years now. Was he also in, what, Knuckle Buster? He Black in, Dots? Yeah, Knuckle Buster and Black Dot Dots. Or the same band with yeah. a name change at some point. Oh, come on. Which they... Um, <laughs> that's uh, where he first saw us, I guess. And he kind of always tells a story. Like, we played a show with... I think it was Norma Jean. Um... If he was here, he'd be able to tell the story. But I think it, we play a show with Norman. Mitch, Dean if you're watching, yeah, you better not be watching. He said he was, he was doing stuff <laughs> with his family. In. Yeah, right. 
I can't show up, but I'm gonna uh, watch it. Crap. Weapon. Anything. Oh. No. Yes. No. Yes. Weapon. <laughs> Where'd you go? I gotta run now, because <laughs> definitely have more energy. I don't know. Oh, got me one. Now shot. we're uneven. Yep. Or we might be on we're even. Three three. <laughs> I've gotten better as it's got on and I've somewhat remembered <laughs> things. <laughs> so yeah, he, he catches us at like a Norma Jean show. Um, we had this drummer at the time where when he um, we had uh, Mike Cook, which drums for damn near every band in Arizona, for uh, Ghost Mother and Glitter uh -huh. Bomb and uh, he was drumming for Your Young and a bunch of other bands. He's in some other band now with Dimitri too from the so, a lot of um, so Mike had left the band. Uh, we got this drummer for a little bit that came to his first band practice with like a black eye. Like yeah. he met us for what? the first time and had like a black eye, and that should have been like a uh, a sign that like maybe this guy's bad news. And um, and like we had quite a few troubles with him, so we needed to find a new drummer. Mitch had just saw us at a Norma Jean show, and. I forget entirely how we connected, but we connected in one way or another, and he, he's basically like, yeah, this is exactly the style of music I want to do. Like, he's huge into Converge, um, and like the more chaotic stuff. So that's kind of how we stumbled across him. And he's honestly the most talented guy in the band by far. And he's how I found you guys. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, I'm, I'll follow this dude. Yeah, it's Every other band I've watched him in, he's been great. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's so damn solid. Hey, that's fun. And you guys, you're intense. And it's amazing. There's not a lot of, especially locally, there's not a lot of lead singers that move around like you. Do. I've got to uh, <laughs> as I stop you from moving around. Yeah, I've got to overcompensate <laughs> for my uh, my lack of skill with my uh, <laughs> with my passion. You know? it, it reminds me of uh, like um, gosh, I forgot his name, but from the Bronx, their lead singer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You remind me of that, and I love that. He's so fun to watch too. <laughs> we saw him at the, uh, we saw him a couple times. We saw him at the Marquee recently with uh, Thrice. Yes, it overlapped. Of course, it overlapped. Everything overlapped. Yeah, I have somewhere else. <laughs> but <laughs> and then we also we saw him at the, the Rebel Lounge like a year ago. Yes, I have. I think I might have unposted pictures from that show. Nice. I, I that was a lesson I learned. I, I get very enthusiastic about things that I like. Well, clearly, I guess. I guess that's obvious by the fact that I have a nickname for going to so many yeah, shows. Sure. But I was bringing my camera to everything, and then it would just pile up and pile up. It's still there's a small pile right now, uh, okay, but I'm controlling this. it this time. Yeah, so the Bronx is huge. I mean, they're I mean they're a band that I really love, but uh, I don't know. Like you can't really hear a whole lot of influence in our style. I don't think, but I would definitely but say live. Performing style. Yeah, and that's not, uh, that's why I like fucked up. See, yeah, I do. Stuff. Uh, <laughs> That's where I fudged up. Damien there, he moves around. The first time I saw them was at the View of Phoenix, and he did something I still haven't seen any other lead singer actually do. What's that? But he he wrapped the cord of the mic around his head and just started crawling along the barricade, still singing lyrics. Oh, nice. <laughs> Amongst other things. Yeah, yeah. Like he got up on the electrical transistor box by the van, or uh, not van, by uh, Valley Bar. And then he also wrapped his head with the microphone again and just spun himself as far out into that alley as he could and back. Yeah. <laughs> like through the I, little mosh pit that was there. Oh. Yeah, I missed that show. Um, I, feel like, I feel like the first time that we talked, and I could be entirely off, was, was it a Crescent show or a Rebel show? I think I won. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I've got a rage quit. I won. Ah, <laughs> this game is over. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> it only took an hour. <laughs> uh, it probably was a Crescent Show or Rebel. Catch this real quick. It was either Rebel Lounge or Crescent. But it's... The people that move. I don't know if this is kind of advice to some bands, but move. <laughs> it's more exciting. It's very entertaining. Hopefully the product behind it backs it up, but <laughs> yeah, well, it, it's so much more entertaining and enjoyable if you move around. The, honestly, the thing is, I mean, it's no surprise that like, like music is changing big time. Like when it comes to like, we saw CDs completely die out. Basically, I mean, most new cars don't even have a CD player. Downloads yes. are pretty much gone at this point. Like it's all streaming, right? 
Yeah, and um, data plans are festi festivals are becoming instead of becoming. Oh, Does it one hit quick. kill? Uh, yeah, you got a magnum. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah it's quick. I had a couple <laughs> shots. Um, but uh, festivals are like not to like stuff like the warp tour and stuff. They're all becoming regional dates, right? Yeah. And then local shows have been struggling for the longest time. I mean, there's some that do well, but granted, there's ten local shows in Arizona a night, probably. Um, there's a lot that they don't can. do very well, you know. Um, so I think what that means is bands have to start getting clever on how, like, they can create an experience that makes people want to get out of their house instead of just stay home, not spend money, and watch Netflix. And that experience can't be, like, playing to a bunch of backtracks and looking down at your guitar. You've got to be <laughs> like doing... SNL. Yeah. You've got to be doing something that's, like, you can only experience it in person. That's very good. So that's really what we're, we're going for, like... You know, getting people to actually like be more interactive, to have some fun at the show, and to be like, yeah, this is worth coming to another show. You know, uh, like, for me, it's not staying at home. I walk. It's just more stands out because I find it more interesting because I see yeah. so many people before. And yeah. And I occasionally had to also remind myself that bands will get better. <laughs> Where I watch their Sometimes. first or second show, and I'm like, uh, I don't know if I want to watch them again, and then. Two or three months later, I'm like, they did get better. Oh, that's right. Why do I never think about this? That's a pretty that cool. At least good bands will get better. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting better. We're getting older. That moving around is gonna stop real quick. Just up there <laughs> breathing heavily. <laughs> that's that's also Johnny gimmick. <laughs> he will take Dude, it. You got three to zero right now. I think it's because I landed this gun that he holds by his pinkies. <laughs> yeah. Right. By his fingers. <laughs> Damn, dude, you're crushing. Uh, I've got, just saying, I've got to jump on a call in about 15 20 minutes. Okay. So, uh, we will wrap up. We're doing, um, <laughs> so for that tour you're talking about, today and tomorrow is kind of like the, uh, we're calling into a couple podcasts and some of the, like the local uh. college radio stations and stuff like that. To help promote the tour, which is an interesting thing for like a hardcore. Sorry, right, I mean to shoot you in the back, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Four to zero. Are you gonna get a flawless victory on me? Uh, Wait, can we? Currently, this? when you give me one hit, two hit kills. Um, <laughs> when you upload this to YouTube, can we cut this last game? <laughs> <laughs> but if you're talking about your tour, how will they know? I've got a reputation to keep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they can see most of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's like saying the Cardinals are amazing because they won their last game, but they're four and one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so I went to uh, Kansas City to catch Kansas City Chiefs play the Cardinals, which was not even really a game. It's just the Cardinals getting their ass handed to them. That sounds like current. And I'm, I'm not huge into sports or anything, but I will say there's such a difference between seeing a game in a different state than Arizona, because there's, Arizona's like, arena's half empty, everybody shows up late, leaves early. In That's Kansas City, people showed up like four hours early. It took us like, you know, an hour and a half to get through the line just to get in the <laughs> arena. And people were going nuts. It like, also has to do with success, especially true. in this city. Oh, very true. But, um, yeah, I've got this little baby gun right now. So do I. Oh, My mind's not hitting anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, before we even got in, we were, we were standing in line, and we saw this girl that was just trash drunk from pre-gaming. She puked on this dude in line. And <laughs> then the girl was like, decently attractive. So the next thing you know, the dude's like, would puke all over his pants and shoes, hitting on the girl that just puked on him. He's like, so, what are you doing later? <laughs> Dude, five oh kills in a row. Apparently, you want to do one more? I can't. I can't go. We can out do on one a, more, and then we'll yeah. end it. I can't go out on a loss like this. <laughs> also, how did we end up with that weapon? <laughs> oh, you changed it. I was like, wait, I, and then I just happened to find it first. Yeah. Um, lasers. We haven't done lasers. Just do lasers. Why not? Or if you want to go to a knife fight. <laughs> we'll, we'll end it on lasers. We don't want to bore people here. We'll do the random again. See what we get. No, so the suns used to we be. We just really get the same level? Yeah, yeah, we did. Is it random? Yeah, it was random. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide. <laughs> Ooh, gun. I'm gonna hide now that I have a gun. Got that laser. Um, you know, you're saying the suns do what? When they were good. It's too hard to check. You got the laser. Yeah, I'm gonna pay it forward for you. Destroying <laughs> me last time. Moonraker. 
Uh, <laughs> now you're gonna tell me the Moonraker's not a real weapon. <laughs> I, I, isn't that the name of the movie? I don't, is it a weapon? <laughs> is it the name of the weapon the evil villain uses? Since half the titles are the like evil plot of yeah. the villain. There we go, it is weapon. Now we're on even ground. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, and the finish the guitar thing, yeah, so Andy, he taught me five basic chords. He taught me four chords, I think it was self-esteem, but not for the whole song. Yeah, yeah. But then he's like, alright, now play them in this order. So I can actually play uh, Damn It by Blink-182. Nice. I probably need to practice it. And then I started self-teaching a little bit, so I can do the opening to Basket Beast. So I can play a little. So I'm really, uh, may come as a surprise here to nobody. I'm really not a vocalist. I actually started <laughs> playing guitar, and my first two bands are playing guitar. Um, and what I learned was pretty much uh, the entire self-titled System of Down album, and the Toxicity album, which, although I still love System of Down to this day, I just went and saw them recently, they're not known for being the most technical like instrumentalists. So like learning those two albums wasn't a big feat. It's all bar chords. It's really easy. But by that point, I'm like, yeah, I'm good enough. I can start a band now. I don't need to know how to learn anything else, you know? And that spoke a lot to how quickly I grew as an artist, which is not quickly at all, because I started writing music after I like, you know, had been playing for a couple months. Um, so it wasn't until I stopped and I started um, when I, when, when each other no, at all. <laughs> it wasn't until I started singing for a band uh, several years later that I wanted to go back and learn theory and actually learn how to play the guitar better. So now I play guitar better than I ever played when I was actually playing guitar in band. That's good. I was going to say, the Rocksmith's also not a bad tool, I learned. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't played it. Because um, it actually takes it. the real guitar yeah. and it actually kind of uses it as an amp, so it actually picks up the chords you're playing. Yeah. But it will adjust as you screw up or get better. Yeah. So as you screw up, it'll lower the difficulty, but as you get better, it'll make it harder, and it'll jump back down again as you suck again. That's but really cool. Like, like, Pixies, where is my mind and stuff. So when I first started learning, too, it's like, I, I didn't, all I knew about is like reading music at the time, which is fairly difficult to start you know, learning like that. And then I learned about tabs, uh, guitar tabs, and then like, that was a game changer. Um, reading guitar tabs is just so easy. That's pretty much how I learned most of my stuff. But now I think about it, like when I want to learn a song now on guitar or bass or anything else, um, just go to you know, YouTube and watch some other person play it. They get the tabs right up on the screen. You can slow it down. You can rewind it. Like it's so much. There's kids that are half my age, if not less, that are so much better than I am <laughs> because they started playing Dragon Force, like you know, at age ten. Oh, and I can play the strumming to Bob. You know. Nice. <laughs> At least the opening strumming. You, you're gonna have to end the show with that. Shred, some shred here. Uh, but yeah, so I, I've you should actually be playing your own uh, intro song. It, it goes back to my over enthusiastic trying to do way too much stuff. Oh, that's right, that's a shit. Uh, <laughs> Not a very good one, just let me know. Wait. And you just ran by me. Gosh, that's too dark. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> You learn Bob. That's it. <laughs> but oh, my over... I try to do so much stuff. And everything takes time. And I apparently don't realize how much time I actually have. Yeah, fair. Where do you... Uh, so you said you left GameStop. Where are you at now? Uh, it's a place called One Touch Boy. I do computer programming. Okay, cool. That's my day job. That's an enjoyable day job, too. Yeah. Unlike GameStop. It's probably I enjoyable at the beginning, right? My issues with GameStop, they were kind of the revealing of how much people are a cog in the system. And also to not overcommit when... If it's a detriment to your health, life's too short, trying to do something you love with the time you can. Oh yeah, absolutely. It will make life so much more enjoyable and, for the most part, stress less stress. Although... I will say one caveat, at least for me on that, is a lot of people say, like, find what you love to do and then find out how you can make a living doing it. And I find that to be the complete opposite for me. Because I love doing the band, but when the band is the way that you have to pay your rent and pay your car 
Oh, I know about it's this. It's so stressful because then you're like, well, when things don't go right, you, you're, you know, you're in panic mode, right? I know about that. <laughs> so it's nice now with the band that like none of us rely on the band to make any money. If we play a show and no one shows up, it doesn't matter in the long run, right? I mean, it'd be nice if people showed up. It'd be nice if we weren't going out of pocket. But like at the end of the day, we just enjoy doing this, and that's yeah. that's all we expect. Oh, Pat from Reason Unknown put it. When I was like, I wish I could live off of doing this photography stuff, and he's like, now you know what it's like to be a punk rocker, and you can't live off of it, but you do it for the passion of it. <laughs> yeah. And you no do one's making you money doing this. We, we get a check from Spotify for 25 bucks every month. <laughs> That's pretty much what it. What happened to the lasers? Did they just disappear? <laughs> yeah, none of us have got one for a bit. Do I have one and not know it? <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> You We've been kind of just been playing it old school anyway. Yeah, you might go out on a win here. Uh, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm letting you win, though, because it's your show. I don't want to embarrass you <laughs> in front of your, your people. But, so kudos to Valerie, to Luxica. She's found a way to... At least it appears she's found a way to live off it and do some great uh, photography. Oh, and stuff? Yeah, she's yeah. great. Um, just come to a couple of her shows and done some photos. Right? And that's the other thing. I don't have... I and mean, the little bit of photography I've done was paid. It's kind of more word of mouth. Yeah. Or, until people watch this and realize they can pay me to do that. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, don't forget to go to squarespace.com slash everyshowjo. Actually, Patreon. Patreon. I am making some money off that. And there is a $5 tier that's tied to this now. That's why at the top... If you want uh, <laughs> the after feed where the pants come off, <laughs> Donate $5 a month. While you're on your phone call for the band. Yeah, squarespace.com. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'm trying to integrate that. It was kind of kind of funny game. It's been a big inspiration. Every show Joe after dark. <laughs> so, but they do that kind of stuff. And that's how you start using Patreon. So trying to integrate it more. Yeah. And the other thing is, if I didn't have debt I built up, I could probably do a lot more right now. Yeah. Instead of find out what direction you're having a monthly payment, we have a radar. We keep forgetting we have a radar. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember. You're either above me or kind of near above me. In my head. <laughs> yeah, I'm like he's coming right at me. No, he's not. Where'd he go? <laughs> there you go. Is that Any of the things they do to us. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We gotta get this like four to four, so it's like really tense at the end. Like what's gonna happen? Like, have people on their seat. Does anyone have any questions? That's watching. <laughs> it's like I haven't even thought about that as I walk into what appears to be the wall of event. Now you're walking into the wall of death right now. Walking into a death trap. Stand up, nerd. Is there anything? No, there's not. This is not gonna win. Go away. You're, you're doing this for the views, right? Yes. I do it all for the pentiums. For the views. <laughs> do I have a gun? I have a gun. Oh my gosh. That's good. Yeah, I'm not swearing. Why the hell am I not swearing? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that uh, mature content rating for something. I've <laughs> and The funny thing is, I've said those words on here before. I don't know why the fuck. It's just like I don't know why. I go into a mode and just like no. Ah! Oh! <laughs> just go into that mode and just not. <laughs> Damn, you got me. Cheers. Uh, so what was that like? Here you go. Sir. Four to two. <laughs> the, the final tally. I don't remember. We're gonna cut all these losses out at the end. Four to three. Chop it up a bit. Put it on YouTube. <laughs> make it look like I just wiped the floor with you. But, yeah, so, first off, where can they find you? Let's go. They can find us pretty much everywhere slash American Standards on every music platform. So Spotify, uh, Google Play, Apple Music, Bandcamp, YouTube, American Standards. We're on all of it. Uh, the best place to support the band is on Bandcamp. Uh, the most money goes to us. You can stream us a thousand times and we'll see, like, That's where I have your last album. ten cents Bandcamp. from it. Yeah. <laughs> So it's, yeah, it's good to pick it up on there. You can also find the merch on there and the tour dates. Uh, we're playing back here in Arizona next month. I should probably have these dates. I could probably pull it up real quick. Uh, we're playing at Joe's Grotto, which is actually every show's Joe's Grotto. Uh, no. 
<laughs> no relation. Yeah, no. Uh, let's see here. What day do we have that? March 25th. Uh, it's Joe's Grotto. And then in April, I believe we're picking up another uh, local show as well, um, which we'll probably be announcing here in just a bit. We just found out about it today. So that's where you can find with us. With the Bronx. Yeah, with the Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to do that. That'd be awesome. They're they've been amazing. doing ran- they've been doing like a lot of random shows lately too. So like they go anywhere from playing with really extreme bands to like really you know, on the opposite side of the spectrum. That was the other thing I kept calling that the Bronx show when it was with Thrace. They're like, they're, I don't care about Thrace. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, who people like? Thrace. I saw about half of Thrace's set, and I mean, I used to be really into them with like artists in the ambulance and stuff. Um, and they sounded great. Like, don't get me wrong, they sounded fantastic. They had a really cool looking show, but I just haven't listened to them for yeah. that long. And they. They're kind of like an arena rock band now. They have been playing bigger, not their usual. Yeah, well, not, not their not usual e- scene, quote unquote. Yeah, not not <laughs> even in the sense of like the places they're playing, just the style of music they're playing is just kind of like active rock. That was such a weird combo. But yeah, mm, credit to the Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Also, of course, if you're watching this on Twitch. You can always subscribe. Hit the subscribe button right below. It gives me, I think, five bucks. Or if you're a Prime member from Amazon, you get a free Twitch Prime member and a free subscription. You can also get me and gives me five bucks. So awesome. Uh, otherwise, patreon.com forward slash every show, Joey. You can do the five dollars here, get a shout out on here on the next episode after you donate. Or just if you want to donate, helps me out, helps me cover travel costs, ticket costs, whatever for putting on this stuff. And actually, equipment costs. Maybe do merch here once I have enough of money underneath Pretty it. Cool. I'd rock that every show, Joe, sure. <laughs> and of course, every show, Joe.com, every show, Joe. And- social media of mostly everything so thank you guys for tuning in uh, next week should be Andy from Nito and 0.9% if you're old enough to remember 0.9% so until next week I'll see you guys and we're gonna try and do this thing.